continue. The fairy mother turned the pumpkin into a beautiful carriage. Cinderella informed the fairy mother that her stepmother will be there too and that she will be angry if she sees her there. The fairy mother said, Don't worry. I won't let them recognize you but remember, the magic will only last until midnight, remember to reach home by then. Cinderella waved goodbye and set off for the ball. When she entered the palace, all the heads turned towards her. The stepsisters and their mother could not recognize her. The handsome prince saw her and fell in love with her. He approached her and asked to dance with her. She accepted his request. While dancing, Cinderella noticed that the clock was approaching midnight. Cinderella left the ball quickly and as she was running, one of her glass shoes slipped off her foot. The prince ran behind her but she quickly sat in the carriage and went away. The prince saw her shoe and quickly picked it. It was twelve o'clock. On reaching home, her carriage disappeared and turned into a pumpkin again. The prince was eager to see her again so he decided to search for her too in the whole country. The prince with his men went door to door. Every girl in every house was made to try the shoe on but the shoe did not fit anyone. They finally reached Cinderella's house. Cinderella's stepsisters try the shoe but in vain. At that time, Cinderella was locked in a room. The prince heard her voice. He inspected the house and found Cinderella. The shoe fit Cinderella's foot perfectly. The stepmother was shocked. The prince asked to marry Cinderella and she accepted. The king invited Cinderella's father to decide the wedding. Cinderella and the prince got married and they lived happily. The End Thank you.